Okay, guys, you saw it in the title. I start this game in 0 and 4 in Platinum Elo. Two things to take from it. First, you're going to see how even being down 3 or 4 kills, I'm actually even in levels and almost even in gold. We keep telling you guys, farm CS matters a whole lot. And this is what keeps me up in the game. Then, second thing. I'm actually pretty proud of myself because there's a big mistake that I do in my games. Sometimes I go 0-2, zero, 0-3. Zero, and then I'm so mad at myself, I cut the record, I start tryharding, like, but with the right, but with the wrong mindset. And I sometimes don't manage to make my way back into the game. But there is something that you should always keep in mind. You always have a best play. You always have a best option. Maybe this best option is going to look really bad. It's going to be like, okay, I can just take this camp and then wait a minute before getting anything. Or maybe I can just like drop one word and that's my best play. But there's always one best play. And of course... We like to find that best play. It's, it's funnier when you're winning and the best play could be I'm going to dive to people, etc. But even if you're very far behind, you have a best play, a best option, and you, you need to always look for it and go for it. And maybe it's harder for me to go for that in higher elos because I know that there are going to be very little windows, very little mistakes to actually punish. But in plat, in emerald, in diamond, and below, of course, there's going to be way more mistakes that you can punish if you just stay focused in your game. People against you are going to be very cocky. The shutdowns are going to fall. It's very rare that people finish the games with zero death. So look for those, play for those, and come back. Enjoy the video. Good shot. <laughs> Okay guys, another game in the in rank 2 Masters series, we're already in Platinum ELO or MMR. So let's see, what do we have here? HPU is a pretty decent combo into Seraphine Senna. Well, Seraphine Senna is one of the very best bot lanes in terms of scaling in the game and ASOL is as well one of the best mid laners in terms of scaling. So already we can see that they want to play the scaling. Shen is going to be pretty good as well later. Viego really good because if they can get just like one reset, he's going to be enabled. Um, Viego has actually really good scaling just because of that. So uh, we need to see in my team, can we either punish the scaling or match the scaling? Well, I'm a bit concerned that Ash Miyu cannot really punish the scaling because it's like very low damage into Seraphine Senna. So we cannot really force skills. Udyr... He's a power farmer, he's looking to scale up. And Kaisa also... Um, is it AP Kaisa? It might not be because she has hell of plates. Or maybe she has hell of plates to carry early game and then... And then later on she goes for some AP. Well, uh, we have scaling champs as well. But that don't scale as hard. I mean, I guess we have a better like mid-game power spike. Like very early on, of course, we're going to have Pryos. And we're going to be able to make plays. But we cannot like punish to the point where we kill them on CD or anything. Mm. But in mid game, I think I think we, we spike like harder at like one item, two items. And then at three, four items, it's, it's back to their hand. So I'm going to have to be the one accelerating the game if my team cannot. And him to Shen with the shield and no ignite yes, TP. So we will need to absolutely demolish our top lane. So whenever you're playing to demolish your top lane, I mean, still, like, we have to jungle track, etc. But what can I do? I can, well, first play for level timers, play for level 2 advantage. I was going to say chase him early on in that bush. What is he doing? He's not watching his screen or what? Okay, I mean, that was a bit... It was a bit cocky, but it's it's very winning. Because I get the XP and he doesn't. Uh, I made Viego lose a ton of time. Biggest mistake that I did is that I hit one auto on Viego. I press Q? But I press Q? Legit, I wanted to press Q on my last auto, so maybe get the crit and I can look to kill him. But the Q didn't go off. 
Well, at least we slowed Diego down, and this is bad, but we're gonna we're gonna manage. I mean, it, all of this is kind of a result of me realizing that I need to make something so we can win this game. I need to make shit happen. Now, big mistake that he did is that he actually. Uh, pushed the wave when I think it was actually pushing to him. I'm gonna wait for his shield to fade. Yeah, actually, I am gonna have. I mean, I was gonna say I'm gonna have better internet soon, but I'm actually having 16 ms. It's not too bad. But if I had eight, I think I would have killed the Shen here. I will have eight soon. Well, it's okay because he has no TP. He has no TP, and the wave is pushing to me, and I have refillable potions. So I can pop one right now, and I have Odier being top. So I can pretend that I'm a bit scared. Just let Odier do his thing. Yeah, that's good enough. And now we're gonna play off the freeze. Well, it's not gonna be as big of a lead as I wanted to. By forcing kills on the Shen. An enemy has been slain. But it's gonna be something. Something is better than nothing. A botlane was able to grab a kill and survive, which is really good. But they have TP on Seraphine. It's not Seraphine who died, so I guess it's fine. Okay, well, I would have like he would have an item advantage. Yeah, he has boots and 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 armor. But I would have a level advantage. So I most likely want to fight him when I get level five. By that time, I will build HP back up. So I dash in the wave, get level 5. I'm trolling so much. I'm trolling so much. I, I just needed the crit. I, I mean, I thought that I needed the crit. Focus on you. Don't worry. Um. Also, for some reason, I thought he used flash. That's why he did the short E, actually. He didn't use flash. Okay. Mistakes have been made. Well, he has a lead now. Good. How do we come back from that? Um, I'll play on our spikes, like just right here, for example. Like it was, like again, it was a good play. It was just like terrible execution. So what I'm gonna do is the same shit. I still have the wave freezing, so I have an XP lead. And on my level 6 and flash advantage this time. Now I'm kidding him. So. I'm just baiting him in. Okay, this time he should be dead. I got crib blocked. I got crib blocked and I don't have much AD. And he runs faster because he has tier 2 boots and stab eyes. And now everything is just falling apart. 
It's okay though. Still the same thing, regardless of how bad the situation is. Always have a best play, you always have a best option, and I will just keep playing for that. Like right here, I think that I should look to prevent him from basing. Why well, still hold the wave? I cannot prevent him because he took a safe base. Let's hold the wave then. Okay, well, a series of pretty unfortunate events, not gonna lie. But it's gonna be alright. Okay, they used Shen TP. So now I'm gonna push. I use Demolish uh, versus Shen so I can punish his rotations. Might have TP back up though. Does. Well, he used Flash and TP, so. Again, didn't press my Q. Also, didn't have to trade. Should have traded. <laughs> What's happening, man? Ah, it is fine. I think I've been feeling like maybe I put too much pressure on myself carrying the game because of uh, the nature of enemy champions. So I went for a bit of over trades. Maybe I'm feeling a bit too confident as well. But now there is a shutdown. And I really want to play for this. Okay, this is it. Now or never. This time I have ghosts, so I cannot get pre blocked. Okay. Oh, this is gonna put us back in the game. This shutdown is gonna do a lot of good for me. Plus the wave is bouncing to me. Okay, it's the start of the comeback. Oh, Sedge. Sedge, Sedge, Sedge. I have five grubs, which is really good. We're gonna play the split this game. Split to win. It's gonna be... I am your worst nightmare. The objective of that game. Okay, he has Tiamat and Bamais, which I think is fine for me, because with Tiamat he's gonna perma push the waves. With Bami Cinder, if he looks for Demolish procs, because he most likely has Demolish, but I can just dash on him and he's gonna take turret aggro. So I can kinda always be in a safe position. Ah, this is really bad. Um Yeah, because he's pushing the wave perma, and we have ult soon, and he just eats. Okay, I think we can just look. So yeah, he has five kills to one. But I'm 30 CS up, which is almost the equivalent of 2 kills. I'm gonna tempo his zone. Okay, 
And now we kill again. Hmm. Is that... Okay, we're coming back. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. So let's see, little point on the game. Uh, Kaisa is doing fine, she's actually like punishing that ASOL pretty well, but ASOL is still scaling up. He got the kill, he got an assist. Bot lane's going really bad, they lost f well, the whole turret basically. Uh, the good thing is Seraphine has a shutdown and we might get it right now. Okay, they used Shen TP again. Shen ult. The 4v5, good luck team. Good thing that they have grubs. Okay. Huge. Udyar got the shutdown. I think he can win this. I think he's gonna win this. Never mind. Okay, it's gonna be our first like close and potentially tough game. So, uh, my idea is that there is uh, Drake and Herald. I want to get at least one of two. And ideally, I want to get both. So, I want to see. If Viego is committing on Drake, okay, I would just uh, run to Herald now. And if Viego was playing top, I was going to trap him with this sword because he was going to go for his top camps. I have a big shutdown for someone who started in 0 and 4. I don't like the fact that Udyr didn't come. Okay, I'm tempoing for Udyr. Do we have a smite for that? Really nice. Really good. Now, let me go for items. What do I want? Well, into Shen, uh, Rage Bait is probably the best. Herald, Herald, Herald. What, what did he do with Harold? But but I, I don't know what's happening. I'm pressing it. Press my ult here. I just gave 800 gold to Scaling Senna. I don't know what's happening, guys. Guess I would do everything preemptively now. Yeah, so it's good into Shen, but only into Shen. Into the rest of their team, I need I need to be able to stick on them. Maybe I'm going Navari now. Me, but now I can't be stopped. Someone has to dev this. Okay. I was gonna say, Milio has to help. Drop. Let me go now.
Yeah, it's 15 seconds, so it's not gonna escape for me. Okay, something is happening. My, like, it shows 16 MS, but I swear, like, even this W, it went after, after I pressed it. So my idea is that I took everything top. I'm, I'm telling you, I split to win. We took, we took everything top, so now I'm going bot. And I'm splitting, and I'm using the fact that I'm actually winning versus, versus this. Yeah, I'm, I'm the, now I'm, I'm doing everything early to make sure that it goes through. Uh, yeah, I'm using the fact that I'm actually using uh, winning versus shell to apply a ton of pressure, give space to my team. Uh, what do I want next? Next item. Maybe PD is going to be really good here. Have the movement, movement speed to s uh, stick on opponents. Plus, it's still going to be good into Shen and and Viego because I can I can stack it pretty easily. I'm going to play for this Drake. I'm still scared, guys. I'm still scared because of the insane scaling that they have and the fact that Senna is enabled. She has two items. Uh, Seraphine as well, but something counters these two champions and it's um, flanks, basically. If I can find good flanks later on. But they're gonna be very easy to kill. Also, Asha Rose can help us. Okay, I really don't want them to stack these drakes with Seraph and Senna. I want us to stack them. Okay. Well, if they are top, it means that we can play for this. Well, that's really good. I still didn't respect the fact that I was uh, bought like, I don't know, like five seconds before they pushed the wave. We're gonna keep playing pressure on side lane. I don't have ult now, I don't, and I see no one on the map I don't really want to show. So I'm just gonna take these, be ready to E away if I see that Diego's coming. And probably just pays for PD. Okay. Uh, wait, my pressure I bring to... to. There shall be a slaughter. And if it's only uh, a soul, I'm gonna ghost on him. And look to Dave. Well, they didn't wait. Wait, please. Oh, it's Seraphin. Well, Seraphin really doesn't want to be bot. This champion is better when she's with her team. Because the more people she heals, or are there when she's healing, the more healing she gives. She's just like a teamfight champion, she's not a side lane champion. So I'm really happy if it's Seraphin on side with me. I've, if that hit, I would have maybe went in. Okay, I was waiting for Mio to be on map. Okay. Here, here, this, 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 this. No. 
Bro. Go, 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 go. What is she doing? Yeah. Just like you're the DPS. She was the reason I was calling them to Nash. Because Kaisa has one of the best like DPS, DPS on Nash in the game. And now I'm going crazy because I just don't want Senna to hold for... Um, yeah, I think I'm going this now. I don't want Senna to hold for the Nash. I don't want Shen to hold for the Nash. So that's why I went crazy to make sure that my pressure is being used by my team. Well, I'm five levels up on Shen now. I'm four items. So not even two completed. I think we managed to come back, guys. I think we did manage to come back. Still, we need to play well. I have half of my team skills. There's a Drake soon. I don't have Ghost, though. Of course, it's a big part of why I can apply that much pressure. But I mean, Shen can definitely not hold me. I should have e the instant on him. Okay, they will have to do something. I think I saw Viego as well. I think I see everyone on the map. Okay, Shen and Aesol may be coming on me. And my job is not to kill everyone, just to make sure that my team has enough space to secure the objectives. Great. I think the best play here is for my team to go bot. Oh, but no, 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 no. All milio, but Okay, now I can push. But fuck off, man! But, but, milio. Oh, this is not gonna work. For them, I mean. I didn't consider the stopwatch a bit. So the reason I want to send my team bot and may mid is because if they go mid, they can get engaged on from well top bot from a straight lane. But if they push mid, they're way safer because they can only get engaged on um, from one way basically. So it's better to have me mid lane. Now they took the inhib and they decided to stay, which is the wrong play. But it's okay though. Now we have bot pressure for Nash. Play Nash. They have to dev bot. Listen to me explain. Milio. It's. Okay. 
Ok. So, let's see. Well, here the idea is just that uh, by the time Nash is gonna spawn, by the time Nash is gonna spawn, they will have two different bots. So I can stay top with my team. And make shit happen. Yeah, we can trap. No need. Uh, but I feel like they're gonna they're gonna check this. Oh wait. Wait, 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 I'm kidding. I'm kidding this guy. Started the game in zero and four. Into casual penta. <laughs> okay, we take those. Okay, well, I'm posting this for sure. And I will explain in the intro what the lesson is from this game. So, guys, thank you for watching it. Hope you enjoyed that one. Next video is gonna be tomorrow, same time, same place. Till then, take care of yourselves, guys. Good luck and have fun in game and in real life. And I will see you next time. Peace, much love. Bye bye.